Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all on this Thursday morning, coming at y'all with some content. And this is another video for my fellow music lovers, my fellow lyricists, my fellow fans of real hip hop lyricism. I'm, I just want to like, ex you know, let you know something because I'm one of these type of artists. When it comes down to music, I love music with a passion. You know, I mean, I take my stuff seriously. I write my own raps by myself. I don't have a ghost writer. You know, sometimes it may take me like a few days to write a song, you know, because I really want to make, I really want to, you know, you know, write like the best song ever. Sometimes like, you know, like to gain inspiration, I may have my headphones on listening to music, write me something. And then like, I may get up, I may, you know, just, just vibe to the music. But yeah, I love music with a passion. I mean, when it comes down to mainstream hip hop and with mainstream hip hop, I'm not talking about guys like Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Corday, Jack Harlow. I'm not talking about those guys. I mean, I'm fans. I'm fans of all four of those guys. But and, and, and this is no disrespect because I know like a lot of people like to say when it comes down to mumble rap, you're a hater. But. I mean, when it comes down to guys, when it comes down to guys like Little Yachty, Little Pump, you know, I mean, Kodak Black is okay, but still in my book, you know, like when it comes down to those guys, even Takashi 6 9 like when it comes down to those guys, they don't really have a passion for what they do. But Kodak Black, that verse that Kodak Black had did on Kendrick Lamar's new album, Mr. Morales and the Big Steppers, his verse on that on that song he did with Kendrick Lamar is okay. But still, Kodak, yeah, I, yeah, Kodak is not like on a lyrical level the way J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar is. You know what I mean? And and just like when it comes down to rappers like um Smoke, Perp, or Kid Boo, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it, it seems like these artists, they don't really have that much of a passion for what they do. But you see, when it comes down to guys like Corday, Jack Harlow, like you can tell like with, with Corday that he has a passion for what he does. I mean, his debut album, The Lost Boy, is phenomenal. His debut album, The Lost Boy, is a masterpiece. From a bird's eye view is fire too. But I feel compared to The Lost Boy, The Lost Boy is a masterpiece. And and that's the thing about it. Corday, he realized that The Lost Boy was a better album than his second album, From a Bird's Eye View. But yo, yeah, and and just like with lyricists like Token, like to n now I know some of y'all may not be all that familiar with Token, but Token, he's another like lyricist. He's the one that like came out like when he first came out, he had came out with the No Sucker MCs contest, still No Suckers MCs. And it's like now he's he got his own label and he got like distribution with the Atlantic. And and it's like the same day Corday dropped his new album from a bird's eye view, Token had dropped his new album, Pink is Better. But yeah, Token is is definitely like a fire lyricist. Like you know he has a passion for what he does. And and that's another thing too, like Token. I'm pretty sure like a lot of people may compare him to Jack Harlow. Some people may wonder who's better between Token or Jack Harlow. Token has like a more aggressive style when he raps. Jack Harlow has like a more laid back, smooth style. But Jack Harlow is 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 dope. He's amazing. Token is amazing too. But Token has like a more aggressive style. But yeah, I love music with a passion. I mean, I would I would rather stay fully independent because when it comes down to these major labels, they gonna try to change you and stuff like these a and r's be trying to change you they want you to write a song about this write a song about that they may say that this song is too much of a message 
and it's like you know they they're gonna feel like you're a threat to the music industry when it comes down to artists like tom mcdonald tom mcdonald is a threat to the music industry grizzy hendrix is a threat to the music industry i mean me e even myself with the stuff that i rap about if i was to be in the music industry i would be a threat i mean tupac yeah, Tupac was a threat to the music industry. His song, Brenda's Got a Baby, you know, like, they didn't even want him to release that song because of the message that it portrayed about a young black girl in the ghetto in the hood, you know, ha getting pregnant at, 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 a, at, at a very young age and having a baby at a very young age. There's a great message in that song, but you see... When it comes down to mainstream hip hop, they 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 they, they really want to like fuck your mind up. They want they want these rappers to rap about drugs, shooting and killing each other, all types of negative stuff, and it's ridiculous. And, and you see, that's the thing about it. As long as they're making money off of these rappers rapping about that negative stuff. It, it, it doesn't even make a difference if you got rappers getting shot and killed every day in their hometown. And it also doesn't even make a difference if you're having rappers die from drug overdoses. As long as they're making money off of it, they're satisfied. And that's the most sad thing about it. It's sad, it's pitiful, and it's disgusting. But it's all about the money at the end of the day. They could care less if there's other rappers dying, getting killed and everything. And, and, and I want to give a I want to give another shout out to Lupe Fiasco like his new album Drill Music and Zion that album is amazing in my opinion to be honest I honestly feel that Lupe Fiasco's new album Drill Music and Zion is better than Kendrick Lamar's Mr. Morales and the Big Steppers but my yeah like, like I be telling y'all the song on Fox Num. That song has like a very dope message when he was addressing the Dro rappers, I wish you were lying. I feel the same way. I wish they were lying, but unfortunately, it's not like that. You got rappers getting killed every year in their hometown, and, and, and the music industry doesn't care. The labels don't care. As long as they're making money off of it, they're satisfied. Like, that, that's, just, that's just really pitiful. It's disgusting. But, yo, I just wanted to share this video with y'all, chat with y'all, you know, to let y'all know that I'm one of those artists, like, I love music with a passion. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video, love y'all.